And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Satisfactory. And uh, lots of work have been done, has been done, has been done, uh, on the factory since the last episode. Lots of work. For one, we were really low on the heavy machine frames, these guys here, because um, these things are used in basically all of the like high tier, like those are 20 a piece, uh, 10 a piece, 5 and 20 a piece. So we were, we've were we been using a lot of them. So what I did is, uh, in a previous episode, we made heavy frames and we upgraded this to a Mark III. And it was, it was good, you know, 5.6 per minute, not bad, but we were still running low. I was using them so fast and so I tripled our production. I added one here. I took apart the system that was here that wasn't being used anymore and I added one back in here. So now we are doing what uh, 16 point something point eight or something per minute uh, and we have lots of modular frames now. Lots of big modular frames but the consequence of Increasing this to a large amount and uh, for some reason you don't have encased beams. What happened to your encased beams, sir? I was just about, oh, uh, I guess I can go check that system. Um, we are using 1836, 48, 49, probably 50 per minute of encased beams. We might, I might need to go check that system. I thought I had built it up, but we'll, uh, We'll go check it here, um, but anyway, getting getting back to it. So this uses a ton of modular frames. Steel pipe we had already upgraded in a previous episode, um, or I had done it. I, I, I overhauled steel, maximized steel pipe. So yeah, we're, we're producing a lot of steel pipe and concrete. Uh, let's turn my light on here. So this over here, this is my modular frames now. Um, I went through and upgraded all of these. These are all of the Mark III variety now. And that produces a ton. And we had only three regular ones before. Now we have five Mark III's. And uh, yeah, lots of modular frame production. Um, which the consequence of that was reinforced iron plate needed to be bumped up. Because now we're using, what is that, 30... 60 75 a minute we are using of the uh, reinforced iron plate screws are back here we i overhauled this as well so this is much cleaner and now we since we have this super fast belt i just have one belt feeding all of those and it's and it's good we have three machines here pushing out um alternate screws from the steel plate and uh that seems to be working out fine. The modular frames are right over here. And as you can see, we are keeping up with production. We have both of these original setups in the base here. These are these are both upgraded to the Mark uh, IIs, I believe. Um, let me, before I get, no, this one isn't. Okay, so I hadn't upgraded this one yet. But what I did do is I maximized the iron that we're getting from here, okay, so this is a Mark IV miner now. Uh, those are going up here, which we have a huge bank of smelters, 32 smelters, all Mark III. So these guys are pu pushing out, they're capable of pushing out around 2,000 iron per minute. That's coming up here, and both of these setups have been upgraded. So both of these setups now are the Mark III variety, uh, producing a ton of uh, the modular frames. So yeah, we have a ton of these things going in right now. Um, so much so that it's just, it's backed up. Concrete, likewise, down here, I had to upgrade this system down here to keep up. This is supplying the concrete for those heavy frames and so this had to get upgraded and now this is uh, a nice and clean setup and this is producing a ton 
let's see, a 30, 60, 120, uh, roughly 180 per minute. Um, and so let's go check on the encased beams. I had to come back here. The encased beams that we have way over in the steel outpost, not nearly enough. And so over here, I've upgraded this, and this is not running. Why is this not running? Did I not hook this thing up? I didn't. That's why we don't have any encased beams. Okay, well, that was a derp on my part. Yeah. So, unfortunately, I left the game running all last night just to try to keep this thing up. But, uh, yeah, we ran into a problem. I, I did not hook that thing up, unfortunately. So now we have some encased beams adding to the system. So this, all those encased beams, and we have, I think, eight crafters here. So we have... Yeah, eight crafters. So we have 64 production. And each one of these is 40 a minute. So yeah, that's why I had to radically increase the amount of uh, concrete that we were making. Yeah, this, this system is was in place. I just hadn't hooked up concrete or power to the concrete any, at any rate. So now we have more encased beams heading our way, which is good. That should kick on a few more of those crafters. Um, Power-wise, uh, if we look up, at, up there, I had to add a little bit of power. I, it wasn't a lot. It was like, what, one, two, three, four, five, six of those because we were running low on power. So we have uh, 13.2 gigawatts of potential power right now. And uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna ramp this up really fast. Uh, all right, so. Other things that I did, uh, let's go back into the nuclear processing area. All right, so all this is ready to go uh, for the next phase. And as you can see, I've done some work in here. Uh, let's go up to the top. All right, lots of work done up here. We have a metric ton of production going on up here. Um, first thing I did, I did go out to silica, the silica processing, and I doubled the amount of silica that we're, that we're making. Um, yeah, lots of silica. <laughs> we may even need more. Um, I may need to run another belt of silica out here. It, it's, I may, yeah, I may run... I haven't decided yet. Depends on how much we're going to need. Um, the, the next few steps, let me get my notes out. So we have a ton of consumption going on here. Uh, let's see. We have the control rods next on the list. And we already have the 80 staters a minute. Uh, and this setup over here, this long line of Mark III manufacturers... This is for the high-speed connectors, and we have seven of these, and six times seven is 42 because we need 40 of these per minute. So we have 42 production, and everything is backed up. Since I let it, let it run all night, it's, it's all backed up and quiet, which is why we're not really drawing a whole lot of power right now. <clears throat> and so, yeah, this setup here... Uh, is making our high-speed connectors. We have all of the quick wire back in here. And uh, those high-speed connectors are using 180 a minute. And we have back here, we have 180 a minute. Okay, and now I, I did set up, We there's a, there's a little setup over here. This is for rotors and this is for motors. So we're using a little bit of our stators right now for motor production because I've been going through so many motors that I needed I needed a good supply so we've got lots of motors now um, those the the uh, mark six belts use tons and tons of motors so yeah this setup here produces quite a few um, 
yeah, 10 a minute, it's not bad. Uh, it, it builds up pretty fast since we're not using those for any crafting. Uh, we have over here, this is the stator setup that we built. Uh, we have over here the uh, quick wire for the stators. Uh, and over here we have the circuitry. A lot of these I've already set up before, so I just went ahead and uh, set these things up again. And here we have encased beams. We have encased beams on this side of things because we need them for uh, something. I don't know what, what uh, fuel rods? Yeah, I think the fuel rods uh, use encased beams. So I needed at least 42 encased beams a minute to keep up with that. And we have eight a piece and we have six of these. So again, six times eight is 48. So we have a little bit over production and that's okay. So the next big step on the list is the control rods. And uh, this is going to be a really beefy setup. 70 control rods a minute. And if we look, uh, I think control rods are in an assembler. Yes, indeed. Uh, you see 20 stators and 10 per minute of high-speed connectors. So we need four of these giving us 80 per minute but we're actually going to only use 70 so there's a little bit over production we could underclock something but as you can see we have lots and lots of things and stuff to go along so this step is going to be uh the mark three assemblers uh let's see can we center them on this uh let's give ourselves a little bit of space like right in here so we need four of these and I'm anxious to get nuclear up and running because man are we are we in need of, of some serious because once this setup like ramps up once once the production of all of these machines starts kicking off again it is gonna be mayhem on our power so I want to get the setups going to get our first nuclear fuel that that way I can ramp up the production after that so once we have our first fuel then I can start hooking up more and more assemblers into the final product because one of the things that we have left is the uranium um, alternate uranium cell production and that's a manufacturer I think in here right in here this guy is Oh, it's going to be so many. 10 of these. 10 of these, which is over a gigawatt of power. Okay. 10 of these things are going to produce for us 350 cells per minute, which are then going to go into the actual fuel rods. And uh, I'm not sure how many of these. Uh, the fuel rods, I think, are over here. We look down. Well, that's the uranium cell where uh, maybe it's over here yep there it is I'm not going to use the alternate that requires uh, that requires the uh, crystal oscillator and while it would be nice um, no I'm not going to go for that so over here this is where the 40 uh, uh, of these per minute or no 70 of these per minute is going to go in and there, there's the 10 uh, of these 42, did I calculate that wrong? Encased 70 control rods. 20 a minute. 0.8 fuel per minute. Yeah, this is this is the right one. Why do I have 42 encased? 17.5. Okay. Okay, yeah. That's why. I, I was reading that number wrong. We're going to need... 18 of these machines 18 of these giant manufacturers with this recipe um, to make our fuel rods that's a lot of power that's almost two gigawatts of power just for this but that's going to produce for us enough rea uh, fuel rods to power 70 reactors Again, 175 gigawatts of power from this setup 
Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to get that started. So over here, we need these four to be the, where is it? There it is, alternate control rods. So 20, 40, 60, 80. So we have the high speed connectors right here, um, which is why I wanted to do this right away. Uh, but we may not hook them all up right away. Uh, let's see, where do we want? We want to connect you right up, roughly right there. Okay. So this can just swing right over to there. And now we need the stators, which I have on the bus here. There they are right there, stators. I don't think they're gonna be used anywhere else. So we might get a little fancy here. Okay, right there. Yes. Two, three, and uh, okay, they're the lower level belt. Right there. So we can take this belt out. I think I've been using Mark threes. Yeah, Mark threes. Okay, and then we can lower those down. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, right there. And uh, let's put the stators away that we don't need. I don't want those lingering in my inventory. Uh, okay, so we need a total uh, 80 per minute and uh, 40 per minute. So we don't need super high throughput on this. So this... <clears throat> maybe try to see if we can't make this look pretty there we go and then we have a mark 3 coming out for those all right now let's get this straightened away one two three four and then we're gonna have to split the difference there I'm not anticipating needing more than what we have here. Let's see if we can actually. <clears throat> so this one on the end, the top is gonna be two and that one's gonna be three. Oh, autosave. Those autosaves, I swear, come up way more often than I have them set for. Either that or time just flies in this game. <clears throat> okay, so the Mark 3s, let's push those on the way over. And then the Mark 2s can push those all the way over there. There we go. Nice and clean setup. We are going to want splitters, not a smart splitter. Let's put a splitter. I'm not going to hook these up again. Now that we're gone sort of the, the, the home stretch, I want to make sure we're, you know, making what we need in order to get the thing started. And then we can start ramping up production. As needed why there we go I really wish I could move in smaller increments there like that uh, so these are gonna be mark two oh, mark two they won't be hooked up just yet Because I don't want the entire base um, starting up just just yet. 
we have a lot of things that need to get done first. Okay, so all four of these can be powered from one system. And then you can come in here. We should start tickling that edge of power. We, we actually need to. I need to use some power up here because up here is my generators. Coal generators and uh, um, fuel generators. Right now I'm struggling on, on rubber because a lot of my system is shut down because we're not, we're not using as much power as we need to be using. Okay, so the final thing on here is going to be we need some mergers. Don't really need a container, but you know it's here. Why not? So I think Mark 3s are probably going to be... I mean, Mark 1s would... Well, no, Mark 2s would be the bare minimum we would have to use. But it is what it is. So let's go down to Mark 2s. A little bit cheaper. Okay, so there are some control rods. A small amount compared to what we're going to be using now. Okay, so that's... Whew, that's control rods out the door. Now, now we're going to need to think about the production of the uranium. From here on out, it's going to be radioactive. So I would like... First of all, I don't need you anymore. Basically, the rest of this is going to be manufacturers and refineries. So, we only need four refineries producing this. We only need four of these, which is good. Um, we're going to need, see there's, we get 40 back, so we only need 120 so 120 so that's 480 sulfuric acid per minute uh, we can manage that we can manage that let's go while that is gearing up the other thing i'm going to probably need to bring over here in another belt is more sulfur there's there's a lot of sulfur that we're going to be consuming here so again we only need four of these things that's a Mark II. That's a Mark III. Let's take you out. Um, we only need four of these. So I would like, if possible, to manage the fluid here. Well, what we're going to do, we have sulfur going down like that, right? So we're going to make sulfuric acid down there. We're going to bring it up here to be used uh, in these systems here. So I think uh, production, refinery. Let's space these out quite a bit. Two, three. There's no reason to be cramped in this setup. Okay, um, uranium pellets, that's what I'm going for here. So I'm gonna split this into, you know, a group of two and a group of two. So we're gonna need a refinery, just a regular one. Oh, I need to, 
I need things and stuff. This is why I have a little mall set up over here. It's it's great for this kind of thing. I did bring a whole set of uh, material here um, before I let it run last night, just to allow you know more more things to be made. As you can see, I've got more fuel in my inventory. I've I'm, I'm been starting to keep more than one stack just because I go through it so fast. Uh, okay, so two of these are going to be producing or using 120. So that's 240 sulfuric acid uh, per minute. So if we go over here, we could get ourselves a, a little bit better of a platform to work with. No need to think of, a, of that platform as, as a final size. We'll figure out where we're going to bring up sulfuric acid in a bit. So I would like two refineries. Uh, blue is out. So like one there and one here. So this is going to be empty, easy unpack empty, and we want 240 a minute. We want to hard code the emptying of this so we don't overfill the system and run afoul of bad, uh, a, a clogged up system. Okay, so first thing, <clears throat> we're going to want, let's see, one here, one here, and a stackable here. Uh, okay, so the, this one can, can end basically right here. Okay. And then these two pipes can actually go quite a ways. One, two, three, four, and then five actually puts us right about there. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's do that and that. So we're going to have a Mark V belt go across this way. You're going to have a splitter. Oh, another autosave. Of course. Right. Well, yeah, this is not ideal. I don't like that at all. Something like that. One, two. Right in there like that. And then we can take this, this, and this, and this off. Because that's the terminal. We're going to have these come out. <clears throat> so we're going to have a merger here. Remember, this is all going to be highly radioactive once the once the system kicks on. So I don't want to have to come back here and and mess about with this system once it's up. We're going to have two belts of that coming out. Now, can we No, that's going to be too close way too close so let's bend him this way and then mark five wrapped oh that looks that looks horrible he 
Yeah, let's uh, let's do it this way. I got an idea. Let's add the splitter onto this. Again, that's going to be really close. But adding a splitter onto this one will allow us to take this off that off and grab that little stub and replace it with this very helpful and then over here we can actually stretch this a little bit further out now that that is the midpoint so let's a little bit further um, I actually didn't need those pipe ones there but it is what it is so let's take view and stretch you across. No, I want I want these. There we go. Doesn't look that much better, but it is a little bit better. Like so. And we've already got that one, so let's get a splitter like right in here. Yeah, I uh, yeah, yeah, that splitter that splitter will be fine. It's got a it's got a good lead over here, so I'm not too worried about that. And uh, let's get one, two, one, two, two. And there's our four that we need for that. Okay. Next is piping and all that kind of stuff, uh, which we will tackle next episode. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.